Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, The Learning Path. This is Dr. B. Meena, Head Department of Commerce and Vice Principal Shift One from Petition College of Arts and Science, Adaya, Chennai. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to work out the problems under process costing chapter. Click the I button to view my previous videos for the chapters of standard costing, contract costing, cost sheet, and other concepts in cost accounting. Get what are the concepts relating to process costing in this video. Then I will start dictating how to work out the problems in the next videos. What are the terms relating to process costing? First of all, we must have an understanding what is process costing. It is a method of costing which is used to ascertain the cost of output at each stage of production. See, when we are going to undertake a process for converting a raw material into a finished product, there are some process involved. For each process, the manufacturer want to know the cost of each process. What is the cost of process one, process two, process two. So like that, they can use this technique to find out the cost of each process. In each process, they will get some output. For each process, we are going to give some input simultaneously we will get an output for each process. That output of that process will become an input for the next process. So the manufacturer want to know what is the cost of each process. So what are the types of industries using process marketing? I gave the examples, mines, textiles, chemicals, sugar industries, oil refining industries, paper industries, food products, etc. So these are the best examples of explaining the process costing then we must know when we are going to undertake a production and or each process, we may incur some losses. That losses are collectively called as process loss. So in most of the industries which employ process costing method, process loss of the nature of wastage, scrap, spoilage, etc. occur at different stages of manufacturing cycle. So let me check out the each and every term. Uh, what is wastage? What is scrap? what is normal loss or normal wastage under process costing. So with, without knowing this concept, we will not work out the problems with to have an understanding. Let me check out the meaning for each terms. What do you mean by wastage? Wastage doesn't have a recovery value. It's a waste only. We will not uh, try to do anything with this wastages. So wastage which has not a recovery value is called as wastage. So what do you mean by wastage? I gave it here. It is defined as that portion of basic raw materials lost in processing having no recovery value. Okay. Then what do you mean by scrap? A wastage which has a recovery value means that is called as scrap. That's a difference between the wastage and scrap. Once again, I repeat, wastage doesn't have the recovery value, but scrap is a wastage which has a recovery value. So look at the meaning I gave it over here. It is discarded material having some recovery value, which is usually disposed of without further treatment. Recovery from scrap reduces the cost of the process. If you've got some wastage in each process, that wastage has a uh, recovery value, I mean the scrap, then it will be an income for each process. That will minimize the cost of the each process. Okay, then what is normal loss? or normal wastage. It is the process loss which is unavoidable and uncontrollable during the course of production. It is mainly due to evaporation, shrinkage, etc. It should be estimated in advance on the basis of past experience and absorbed by good units produced. The process account is credited with the realizable value of normal loss if any. So these are all the unavoidable loss, uncontrollable loss what during the uh, production in each process. Okay, so this can be estimated by the manufacturer well in advance, this could be the loss in each process. Okay, so based on the past experience, they are going to absorb. Absorb means they are going to estimate. Okay, they are going to estimate the loss. This loss is called as what is that? Normal loss. Usually this loss, normal loss will be credited in each process. Then next is 
when when we are talking about the normal loss we need to discuss the abnormal loss the abnormal wastage also what is abnormal loss in the process loss is an excess of predetermined loss so i i i explain the meaning of normal loss now only normal loss is the predetermined loss that is absorbed loss based on the past experience this could be the loss in each process we made an estimation right say for example uh, i gave input 1000 units in first first process and i estimated 100 units or 100 units could be the loss in that process okay so i estimated 100 units could be the loss is called as normal loss but the actual loss is 120 actual loss is 120 so 100 is the normal loss the extra 20 units loss is called as abnormal loss right so that means any loss which occurs more than the predetermined loss is called as abnormal loss or abnormal wastage right look at the meaning in the slide when process loss is in process of uh, when process loss is in excess of predetermined loss such addition loss is called abnormal loss or abnormal wastage it may be caused by abnormal reasons such as substandard material faulty tools and equipment plant breakdown negligence of worker fire etc it is avoidable loss during the course of production process so abnormal loss or avoidable loss but normal loss are unavoidable uncontrollable loss okay normal loss or predetermined loss based on the past experience if you came to know the loss occurred actually is more than the predetermined means that difference is called as abnormal loss or abnormal wastage so uh, how our uh, company can calculate the abnormal loss? look at the small example i mentioned over your computation of abnormal loss say for example input i gave 100 units normal loss i predicted i estimated and uh, 10% normal loss is 10% then output uh, is mentioned over here 85 units so input i am giving 100 out of this 100 10% is normal loss means what is a normal loss 10 units right so out of 100 10% means 10 units will be the normal loss but the output when you are seeing 85 units so out of 100 10 units is the normal loss means then the actual output must be 90 right 100 units is the input 10 percentage is normal loss means 10 units is the normal loss so what is the remaining output in case based on the normal loss 90 units will be the output but the output given in the problem is 85 units only they received only output 85 what about the 5 units that 5 units is called as abnormal loss or abnormal wastage look at this uh, calculation how i did quantity of abnormal loss normal output minus actual output how to calculate the normal output input minus normal loss that is predetermined loss what is my input 100 out of this 100 what is my normal loss 10 units how i got 10 units out of 100 into 10 percentage so normal output could be 90 units normal output could be 90 units but actual output is how much how much only is mentioned the problem 85 so what is the abnormal loss what is the uh, uh, information behind this the abnormal loss is 90 minus 85 so what is the abnormal loss 5 units okay actually speaking input is 100 normal loss is 10 means what is the actual output 90 but the problem as how the actual output is how much only is given 85 so instead of 90 units as output we add only 85 so there is a abnormal loss of 5 units so this is the way how you can work out or calculate abnormal loss when you are working out the problem okay then what is the accounting treatment relating to abnormal loss or abnormal wastage this loss is not absorbed by other units produced therefore the process account is credited with the quantity and amount realized from the sale of units of abnormal loss as scrap 
and abnormal loss is debited with full amount of loss of abnormal loss account. Balance in abnormal loss account represents total irreparable loss and is transferred to phosphine P and L account. So this is the abnormal loss treatment in our process costing. When you are preparing process account, when you are preparing, mind it, when you are preparing process account, you should credit it. You should credit it with the quantity and the amount realized from the sale of units of abnormal loss. Okay. But the same abnormal loss will be debited when you are preparing the abnormal loss account. Okay. So mind it. When you are preparing process account, the abnormal loss will be credited. When you are preparing abnormal loss account, the same thing will be debited. So this is the thing I want to highlight. When you are going to prepare a process accounts, what is the treatment relating to the abnormal loss account? Okay. And then abnormal gain is just an opposite term uh, to the abnormal loss. That is abnormal gain or abnormal effectiveness. The, when the process loss is less than the predetermined normal loss, okay. So when abnormal gain will occur, means say for example, I estimated 10 units only the normal loss. 10 units only the, as for the previous example, 10 units only the normal loss. But normal loss actually incurred is 5 units only. Okay. So uh, when you are estimating a process loss, lesser than that that predetermined loss means the additional output you are getting is called as abnormal gain or abnormal effectiveness it can occur due to a superior quality of material better workmanship improvement methods and then improved methods and tools and equipments etc it will not affect the cost of normal selection okay so whatever additional output resulting uh, because of these reasons or call it as abnormal gain or abnormal effectiveness. How to calculate the abnormal gain? Look at the small example. Whenever you are going to work out the part C problem, this small example explanation will help you out how to calculate the abnormal gain. Say for example, input I'm giving is 100 units. I estimated the normal loss is 10 percentage. Output is mentioned as 95 units. Okay. So we need to calculate the quantity of abnormal gain. How to calculate means normal output minus actual output, the same uh, formula. How to calculate the normal output? What is my input 100? On that, what is my normal loss? 10% means 10 units. So 90 units is the expected output. 90 units is the expected output. But what is my output? Actual output is 95. Expected output is 90. But actual output is 95. What do you mean by that? That is the abnormal gain. 90 units only I'm expecting that I'll get as output. But instead of that, I'm getting more than what I expected. So if I'm getting more output, what I expected, that difference is called as abnormal gain. Okay. So I think you will understand with this small example how to calculate the abnormal gain, abnormal loss, and normal loss and all. Okay. Then what is the accounting treatment regarding this abnormal gain? I said, when you have a process loss, sorry, abnormal loss, you need to credit that in the process loss account. When you're preparing a process account, you need to credit the abnormal loss account. Vice versa applicable in case if you are having an abnormal gain, when you're preparing the process account, you need to debit the abnormal gain with the quantity okay look at that the process account is debited with the quantity and the value of abnormal gain and credited in abnormal gain account when you are preparing abnormal gain account you must credit this details it is debited with the loss and scrap value of normal loss which did not materialize because of the occurrence of abnormal gain then the balance of the abnormal gain is transferred to which account costing PNL account. When you are, we are going to work out the problem, that time you may have some more understanding over this accounting treatment. So what I'm trying to say in this point, when you're having abnormal gain, the abnormal gain must be debited in process account with the quantity and the value. Simultaneously, when you are preparing abnormal gain account, it must be 
uh, that is debited with the loss and scrap value of normal loss, which did not materialize. Okay, and then the balance and abnormal gain will be transferred to costing payable account. Okay, then you understand all the concepts relating to process costing, like what is uh, scrap, what is wastage, what is normal loss, what is abnormal loss, what is abnormal gain and what are the accounting treatment relating to this concept so you add an understanding in the next videos i start explaining how to work out the problem in process talking thanks for watching this video subscribe my channel click the bell button see you soon in the next video thank you so much